most of our citizens are coming down with the infection. Luckily, for our vaccinated population, those who came down with the COVID-19 infection had only mild symptoms, which they managed at home due to the immunity the vaccination provided them. If they were not vaccinated, we cannot predict how these cases would have turned out. Vaccination prevents you from severe disease, hospitalization, and death. The reason for the emergence of this variant is because there's still a large proportion of the eligible population who have not yet been vaccinated. And this has given the virus time to mutate and fight back. It is important that we protect ourselves and our loved ones by getting the jab. Our vaccination exercise was expanded to enable all eligible Nigerians have easier access. All vaccination sites are open to eligible persons 18 years and above for first, second, and booster doses. We call on all Nigerians to avail themselves of this opportunity in the ongoing mass vaccination exercise, exercise to get vaccinated against COVID-19. In this phase of COVID-19 mass vaccination, we plan to integrate the campaign with childhood immunizations and other primary health care services. What this simply means is that alongside the COVID-19 vaccines, childhood vaccines will also be available at the COVID-19 vaccination sites. Consequently, parents and guardians with children aged 0 to 23 months are urged to take them along to the vaccination sites. The childhood vaccines protect against polio, whooping cough, measles, yellow fever, tetanus, tuberculosis, and other childhood preventable diseases. This is to ensure that while we are trying so hard to control the transmission of COVID-19, we do not neglect other PHC services or even have outbreaks of childhood vaccine preventable diseases on our hands. Our record as of today, Tuesday, January 25th, 2022, shows that 14,093,873 eligible persons have received their first dose of the COVID-19 vaccine in Nigeria, while 5,252,406 eligible Nigerians have also received their second doses. However, as one would expect, these results are not evenly distributed across the states of the Federation. Our deep dive into the state's performances revealed that Nasarawa, Jigawa, the Federal Capital Territory, Ogun, and Kwara states have remained the top five performing states on COVID-19 vaccine uptake. It is noteworthy to mention that Jigawa and Lagos states have each vaccinated about 1.5 million eligible Nigerians with the first dose, while the FCT, Nasarawa, Lagos, and Delta are leading on second dose administration with more than 10% of their eligible populations already vaccinated. Last year, the daily COVID-19 vaccination coverage was right around 100,000 people being vaccinated every day. Between December 2021 and January 2022, when we wrapped up with the mass vaccination campaigns, we have more than doubled this vaccination rate to over 200,000 people being vaccinated per day. With the talent and capabilities of Nigerians, I know that we can do better. It is pertinent to reiterate the fact that till date, Nigeria has not recorded any deaths arising from COVID-19 vaccination. This should further serve to convince everyone that COVID-19 vaccines are safe. After vaccinating over 14 million Nigerians, it is crystal clear that these vaccines are safe and they are effective. So let me remind all Nigerians that the second and booster doses are critical to achieving high protection against the virus, especially as the virus keeps mutating. So far, 416,980 individuals have received their booster doses. Again, this is a clear indication that many more Nigerians are determined to achieve 
maximum protection against COVID-19. It is our hope that the year 2022 represents the opportunity to exit and recover fully from COVID-19 pandemic in Nigeria and indeed globally. There are some days where over 200,000 people have been vaccinated in, in, a, in a day. This is an incredible achievement given where we started from. And the challenge now is to ensure that we remain at a minimum of 200,000 a day and increase that to 300,000 uh, a day so that we can meet our target uh, during the course of 2022. Nigeria now has received over 60 million uh, vaccines. Uh, in 2021, just over 40 million were received. And so far in 2022, 21.9 million vaccines have been uh, received and uh, given to, to Nigeria. 31 million of these in total were procured by the Nigerian government who took a leadership role in ensuring the vaccine are available. The remaining have been donated by the international community in various parts, whether through, all through uh, COVAX, which is the Gavi, uh, WHO, UNICEF and CEPI um, alliance that have uh, procured and uh, ensured uh, that they have been delivered to, to, to countries all over the world and including Nigeria. The issue of expiry vaccines has been dealt with successfully so in January this month um, and then when looking forward we'll be able to utilize vaccines more equitably across the country um, given that uh, the expiry dates of the vaccines um, are much uh, wider and I would encourage through you through the media for everybody to get vaccinated. This is the time to be vaccinated. As the ED says, uh, Omicron is everywhere. Uh, you cannot avoid it, it's spreading fast. If you are vaccinated, all you will usually have to do is isolate for seven to 10 days. If you're unvaccinated, it could affect you. Now is the opportunity. There are vaccines in each of every one of the peer, uh, primary health care centers around the country. The different types are available um, and you should uh, ensure that yourself, your family, your communities are all vaccinated.